Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have swatches to share with you from For the Love of Polish Box for June. This month's For the Love of Polish Box is featuring guest maker Dreamland Lacquer, and the theme of the month is Tropical Birds. This will be available as a pre-order for 48 hours starting June 5th at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and going through June 7th at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. This will be available on the Polish for Days website, which I will have linked for you in the description box below. It, it will be $30 plus shipping. It is sold as a box. It cannot be broken up into individual polishes. They do ship within the United States and also internationally. So, if you don't know what the For the Love of Polish box is, it is a monthly collaborative box between Polish for Days and Polish and a guest maker each month where they get together and create beautiful polishes based on a theme. And like I said, the theme this month is Tropical Birds, and they absolutely killed it. This is my favorite box so far. I couldn't decide what to wear first and last and everything in between. I just, I wanted to take my time and really enjoy this box because all of these are absolutely beautiful and so perfect for the coming warm summer months. So why don't we go ahead and jump into the swatches. First up is from For the Love of Polish Box, and this is Quetzal, and it is described as a blue-based afterglow with a strong green to blue shifting iridescent microflake shimmer. This polish had an absolutely wonderful formula. It went on very smoothly and very evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. I had absolutely no application issues whatsoever. There was no running, no pooling, no staining. Nothing in here is going to dry textured and nothing is going to be difficult to remove. This polish is incredibly shifty and it's just absolutely breathtaking. You know I love blue polishes and I was just absolutely enamored with this one. I do have a couple of little additions to this video. I have the polish shown where I was just wearing it outside in my yard and I took a photo because it's just so beautiful. And then I also have a little in motion shot where you can kind of see all the different way it looks as you're moving around in different kind of lightings. I had, I was able to twirl around in a circle and get sun and shade and there you have it. The next polish that we're going to have a look at is from Dreamland Lacquer, and this is Sun Conure, and it is described as a neon orange jelly that's filled with Aurora pigment that gives it a golden glow. This polish had a wonderful formula. It went on very smoothly and very evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. I did not have any application issues at all. I would recommend a base coat because this is more of a pigmented type of color. I did not have any staining and I wore it for I think the whole afternoon and but your results may vary everybody's body is different I also do feel that this is one of those polishes that you definitely want to wait for it to dry between coats you don't want to rush your coats otherwise you might get a little bit of pulling I did not but I did I was watching TV so I did give it time to dry in between coats I was able to reach full opacity in just three coats my swatches are going to show you three coats and a glossy top coat. Nothing in this polish will dry textured and nothing will be difficult to remove. I also have a little video to show you of movement on how it looks. This one was indoors, however, I did not go outside. This day was a little rainy. So here you have it. And the final polish in the June for the Love of Polish box is from Palish. And this is called Jacamar. And it is described as a neon lime with intense orange to green shifting pigment and scattered holographic flakes. This polish had an absolutely phenomenal formula. It went on very smoothly and very evenly. It stayed exactly where I put it. Those things, those bits that you're seeing are just hollow flakes. Nothing about them will dry textured and nothing about them will be difficult to remove. They just give you lots of beautiful sparkle. Hollow flakes are actually one of my most favorite things in polish. This is a green polish and it is pigmented. So I would recommend a base coat. I did not have staining and I wore it for over a day. So, but your results may vary. Everybody has different body chemistry. So I always recommend a base coat with a green polish. This polish absolutely, honestly, I couldn't pick a favorite this month, really. I just absolutely love them all. As soon as I saw this green, I was just, my jaw dropped. It's just so beautiful with those flakes and that glow. It is just absolutely stunning. 
So that wraps up this month's For the Love of Polish box. This again will be available for a 48 hour pre-order window starting June 5th at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time in Polish for Days shop, which I will have all the details linked for you down below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.